Social media users have jumped on the possibility of extraterrestrial life having something to do with the missing plane. One user wrote, After an extensive conversation with my father and his partner, we have come to the conclusion that the only explanation is aliens. Another added, I secretly believe the plane is abducted by... MH370 found? Investigators confident they have located plane crash wreckage. Investigators claim they have found the wreckage of missing Malaysian Airlines flight MH370. The Australian Commonwealth Scientific and Industrial Research Organization, XIRO, said they were confident they had found the crash site. The National Science Agency believes the wreckage is in an area 25,000 square kilometers north of the original 120,000 square kilometers search zone. The Australian Transport Safety Bureau also claimed it was highly likely that the wreckage of the jet is there. But in a shocking twist, the governments of Malaysia, China and Australia said there was not enough evidence to begin a new search. The Boeing 777 jet vanished during a flight from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing on March 8, 2014 with 239 people on board. Despite a huge multinational search operation, the plane's final resting place has still not been confirmed. Investigators used cutting-edge technology, specialist sonar, video cameras and sensors, during their two-year search for the jet, but to no avail. Experts had few clues as to the plane's fate until a wing flapper on was found on a beach on Reunion Island, off the east coast of Africa, in July 2015. Analysis confirmed the wing part was almost certainly from MH370 and experts used technology to see how it would float through the water in an effort to try and hunt down the crash site. Dr. David Griffin, who led the research, said the study added an extra level of assurance to the findings from our earlier drift modeling work. It indicates that the most likely location of MH370 is in the new surge area. We cannot be absolutely certain, but that is where all the evidence we have points us, and this new work leaves us more confident in our findings.